Hi everyone, I'm Chas, and I am in Fort Collins, Colorado, and uh, today we are going to be talking about a lot of things with the cans. So, thank you to Home Talk for having me, thank you to my daughter for recording for us, and so really quick before I start making the first project, for those of you who have kids and grandkids out there, these cans can also be really great for just little things like a ball toss really easy or a bowling game in your backyard or inside so little things like that these cans can be used for for in addition to all the things we're going to be making today which are things for inside and outside for this first project what we're going to do is this is a I believe it was a chicken, a canned chicken, but it's a larger can, like a tuna can, but a larger one. And what I'm gonna do first is take this diamond wrap ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna put a little piece of glue with my hot glue gun on the back. And stick that on like that. Bring it all the way around. Put another little strand of hot glue on there and then attach it like that and then what I'm going to do next is you've got three options you could choose either a sterno can if you want something outside with a little more heat if you're inside and have pets and small children you could use a battery operated tea light or you can use a real tea light so I'm going to move these aside I'm actually going to use the real tea light and then I have this crushed mirror glass from Ikea that I'm gonna use next. And I'm gonna just pour that into the can. And then I'll place this in there like that. And now out of one can, I have a candle holder. So if you like that, give me some likes or some hearts, please. Where would you put something like this? Would you put it on an end table? Would you put it in a room? Where would you put something like this? I'd love to know. Where are we tuning in from today? Have you have you seen any pass by, Brielle? Yeah, um, I've seen some Ohio, some NYC, uh, Arkansas, Canada. Awesome. All right, moving on to our next project, and thank you for tuning in. Again, if you're just tuning in now, we're making things with um, cans, just cans from cooking. So we just started off with this can that we turned into a candle holder. Move that aside and try not to burn myself. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I just took another can, it's frosty, because I poured water in it earlier and froze it. So that's just a big brick of ice inside there. I had drawn with a um, Sharpie beforehand, a heart on there. You can do any pattern you would like. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take either a nail, or this is called a punch. And you're gonna take a hammer, and hopefully this won't be too loud. But you're just going to punch holes and shatter ice everywhere. <laughs> so if you're wondering why the ice is in here, it's to hold the can's form. So I'm just going to show you a few of these again. And it's, you know, the ice comes out because it's hitting the ice. And I will follow this all the way around. Like, it's really great on the bumps because then as you're doing in between each little bump, it kind of helps hold it into place. Like that. So you can kind of see those holes going in there, right? Um, and then you'll just continue all the way around like that. Now, um, one of the things I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show the next part of this so I can do it in two parts here. So you could leave this lantern is what you're gonna make out of it and you're gonna do the, all of those holes all the way around. 
Then you, if you want to, you could just leave it like that. But I'm gonna punch a hole on the side here to show you another option that I think just really adds a little flair. All right, the bigger the hole, the more the light shines through. All right, we also have a giveaway today. And the giveaway question is, what have you upcycled a can into? And you need to answer the question in the comment section and then also share this post either on your page or a friend's page in order to be eligible for the giveaway. All right, I just have some black wire here and this just came from Walmart. Um, you could use any little wire. This side's frozen, so I'm gonna start on this side. Normally you would punch all your holes in, set it upside to drain out, and then um, you'll do this part after all the water's gone. So I'm gonna fold that in half like that. Just give it a little twist. And then I would decide on my length and use my wire cutters to cut off that end. And then what I've got with me are just these little beads that come from, um, you know, the craft stores, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. And you just start sliding these little plastic beads onto your wire. And you create whatever pattern or color you want. What color would you make yours? What are your colors that you would pick on your lantern if you were making a lantern right now? And you just continue this all the way around. like that, and you would finish you would finish it all the way up, curve it over, and then tie it into the other side. And I'll show you here what it'll look like. What pattern, I'm doing a heart, but what pattern would you do? Would you make a heart also? Would you make a snowflake? What pattern would you do? All right, so here's the, I'll move the icy one away. Here's the finished one. So there's all the holes in mine that I made before. Here's the handle on it. Now um, you could set it outside or hang it on one of those garden hooks outside. And then I'm just trying to pick something bright here, but you could use a candle. This is just an LED waterproof light. They sell these on Amazon. Um, they're pretty great and bright. Um, you could use a solar light in here as well. And so then what that does, the best part is it's really hard to see right now, but it really makes the beads glow because the light is coming straight up. So because it's a shape of a heart, if you like that, send some hearts, please. I take, I take likes as well. <laughs> um, and then in addition to that, if you think this is someone somebody else might like, please share it with them. And tell me what shape you would make. Because I'd love to know. I like ideas. I like to make more of these. So I'd like to know what other shapes I should make with my lanterns in my yard. I did have someone recently tell me they would make holiday shapes and um, during the different seasons and make a walkway with those, which like Halloween time, you'd make like a pumpkin. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. So that's a lantern for outside. Next, we're gonna move on to this one. So I have three cans here. And uh, this one's like a tomato paste can. Got a small, medium, and large, and I spray painted them um, red, white, and blue. What color would you paint your cans? What we're gonna do now is I've got twine. I got this from Walmart, but I found it at the Dollar Tree as well. So either place is gonna be good. So I'm going to go ahead and go in through the top of my large can here in the hole. And this hole, all I did for that again was with this punch and the hammer, Okay. okay, now you're good, I think. Okay, am I back? I think so. Okay, sorry guys. We even upgraded our Wi-Fi recently and uh, that's terrible. Okay, so I made a knot. That's gonna hold this one into place. So now what I the second one and I'm gonna just set it in there. Now I'm gonna make the hole where I want that one to sit next. If you were making this right now, what color would you color your cans? 
Okay, there's that one. I might make one more knot in it just to make sure it holds into place. So two, two knots just to hold the can into place. All right, now same thing with the third one. So I've got my little can here, my little tomato paste can. I'm gonna slide that in. The knots are still there. I'm just setting them in to help me as I make these knots. Again, right inside here, third knot so that they hold them all into place. Couple of them to hold it strong. There we go. And then my last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little bell. You could take a rock or a stick or anything. It's just kind of a weight to blow in the wind a little bit. So I wanna kind of judge where this last one's gonna go so that I have it sticking out. And I'm gonna say roughly about there. And then I'm gonna tie it into place. Like that. Then I'm gonna cut off the end, flip it back over, and I need to make my knot to hang it from a tree outside or a pole or um, garden hook or whatever you'd like to do. If those of you who are gardening, if you ever have problems with squirrels or birds or deer, noise in your garden will stop them from being around there. They don't like noises like that startles them. So this would be a good thing to put in your garden. So here's your wind chime. So as the wind hits, you'll get this little clangy thing. So again, in a garden, if you need something to kind of keep those deer and squirrels and things Something that makes noise. If you kept it silver, it's shiny. They don't like shiny at all. So just keep moving around that garden. It should leave it alone. But otherwise, it's just a nice decoration for outside. So easy to make, a wind chime. Kids can get on, on that too. I'm gonna set that aside and we'll move to the next one. While I'm getting ready to the next one, I hope you're answering that giveaway question that's pinned to the top. And the next thing we're gonna move on to is a bird feeder. So I've got a can here and I just did something really simple and I just took these star stickers just to do something different because I was trying to do some painting and some ribbon and different things that you can decorate cans with. So I just did some star stickers on it to get me started. I cut a piece of ribbon that's gonna go the length around the can and then I've got another one that this is gonna be used to hang the bird feeder from the tree. So this one's just a loop tied. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this one this way and I'm gonna loop this through like that, okay? I'm going to go on the bottom side of the can. I'm gonna put a line of glue in here. If you wanted something sturdier, silicone or E6000 works great. And then I'm gonna finish putting this around and glue it on the other side. like that. So it's hanging like this. And you can adjust this still so it hangs better, like that. But I'm not done yet. Just another little step. This is just a stick. And on the edge here, you can see my glue from when I did it the first time. I'm just going to put a little glue right here on the edge because I'm making a little perch. What kind of birds do you guys have around you? little glue on top of it just to make it a little more secure and then we'll let that cool and then I put bird seed in here as I knock over the lantern <laughs> and there you go so as that cools you've got a little perch for the birds the bird seed you fill that in there it'll fall forward and then they can just peek their head in there and eat out of the bird feeder so just one more outdoor thing out of a can so if those of you turning in, tuning in, we are making things out of cans, inside, outside, different things. And um, if you like the bird feeder, please give it some likes and some hearts. If you, uh, if you uh, know someone who would love birds, please share this with them. Okay, question for you guys. I have this giant peanut can. What should I do with it? I did not plan for something for today with this can. So. Tell me what I should make with this giant can. And I, this was like a little cappuccino can thing. Um, this one's cardboard. So if you have any ideas of things that I can do with these cans, please send them to me. So a big can 
and a little cardboard can. I was thinking if I had two of these, I would make them into monster feet for the kids, but our, my kids are kind of big now. <laughs> they might crush them. So if you have ideas, please send those in the comments because I do read the comments. All right. We're going to move on to some plants here. So one really easy thing that you can do is plant starters in your plants. So this was mint and just a can and then you can label it with a string and a keychain or you can just stick your, you know, popsicle stick in there and then you just when they're ready after you started them growing, you transplant them outside. So just one really easy way to plant starters from something that's recyclable. All right, then we're gonna move to this one right here, which this will be a great idea possibly for Mother's Day. Are you guys celebrating Mother's Day with your moms out there? What are you doing this weekend with your family? Or if you're too far away, what will you be doing? So just a can, this is just burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree again. And I cut this to fit around my can. So yeah, what are you, are you doing anything special for Mother's Day this weekend? I will be at a baseball game for my son. <laughs> All right, so just gluing that around. Now I'll take this side. Finish that up, pull it tight. And if you need to glue it in more places, you can always do that too. So I just have a little bit of burlap around there. Now, I have these stickers here, which now have disappeared in my can, but that's okay, oh, here they are. And I'm just gonna stick these stickers. I'll probably add a little more glue to them because I wanna make sure they stay. And I'm just gonna stick these heart stickers right on the front of the can. You can add more if you want, all the way around or different different things. I was thinking for Mother's Day I would do the hearts. Buttons would be cool too. Do you have any other ideas of things you guys would stick onto your cans if you were trying to turn this into a planter of some sort? All right, now whenever you're planting something in a in another container, you always want to put some rocks in the bottom for some drain. Sometimes you want to have holes too, but these rocks are just going to keep the roots off the ground from sitting in the bottom. And then I've got a nice little plant here that I thought would maybe match my red hearts. I'm going to do this over the garbage here so that I don't get dirt everywhere. There we go. And then I'm going to stick that in there like that. And now I can bring this to my mom this weekend for Mother's Day, except for I would probably clean this up a little bit. But there you go. So pretty simple. Just a can with a little ribbon and some stickers, and I have a little plant that I can bring to someone. Great for May Day. Those of you who celebrate May Day, that's the time of year that you run and put something flowers on a person's porch and you ring the doorbell and you disappear. <laughs> Okay, I got two more little plants for you guys. This one is a fake succulent planter, but or you could use a real one. And then I just took and glued on this newspaper. You could use book, you could use magazines, but again, this is just like a big tuna or chicken can. And I just took this newspaper on this one and put it in there like that. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put some of these rocks in here like that. I'm going to stick the succulent in here, try to get it level, which I'm failing at. And then I'm going to fill the rest of the way around with some more of the rocks. Like that. Now, if you had a real one, of course, you could plant the real one in here, too. Just showing a variety of options. So there you go. Now I have another little planting pot that I can use in my house. Or this kind um, doesn't, it can be anywhere really because it's not real. So there's one more. And just another way to decorate a can really. All right, this one's just silly. I'm just going to say it now. Your 
If you have kids or grandkids, this is kind of more of an outlet. You might really appreciate this. All right, so here's a picture of my son. And yes, I chopped his head off, and yes, it's on purpose. <laughs> so I put contact paper over the top of it to protect it. In here, this is just grass. And if you want to just grow grass, you just use um, flower seeds for that, or you can just use flower seeds for that. Um, but you can also just get some grass seeds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this picture of him and I'm going to glue it to the can, but I need another glue stick. All right. All right. And then just finishing the glue here. Okay, just glued the back like that so it's stuck together. And then the idea behind this is that this is your hair and it's sticking out of your picture. And so then the kids can then make hairstyles. It kind of reminds me of Chia Pet. Do you guys remember Chia Pet? Did you have a Chia Pet? And did you, did you actually grow it? But you can trim this up. What hairstyle would you give it? Would you give it a mohawk? Would you like make ponytails on it? Or what would you do? But this just silly. Fun for kids in the summertime. You can do flowers too, but this stuff you can trim that way and do silly things with it, right? So four easy planners. You know, we had the, the starter, the Mother's Day or teacher appreciation gift, the um, just succulent planner, and then the fun silly one. So just little things that you can do to plant things in your home. All right. We're going to move on to the next one, which is just another decorating technique for a can. And then we're going to turn it into something. So this is fabric. And I'm just going to take Mod Podge and wipe it all over the can. And uh, for those of you who are wondering what Mod Podge is, it's just basically a glue but it dries clear and there's matte or gloss finish it's water-based so it cleans up well great for kids to use great for decoupage all right what's your favorite fabric so if you were gonna pick a fabric what would you look for would you look for a specific color a specific feel what fabric would you guys pick all right, there, Mod Podge all the way around. Fabric, there's a right and a wrong side to this one, so I'm gonna put the right side out, and I'm just gonna work my way around to get the fabric all the way on to it. And then as I get to the end here, just gonna finish that up and get that to stick. Now you could leave it like that, but I will also be coating the outside and this is just going to add an extra layer of protection for it. So it's going to seal all those um, edges so it doesn't fray. And you're going to do this all the way around. Now you can do this with, uh, with cans, you know, decorating. Obviously, we've shown ribbon, books, um, magazines, you know, Mod Podging, any of that on. Uh, I've seen people, I have a friend, Naomi, she uses wrapping paper on hers. So you can do that. Um, shelf liner works great. Just stuff to kind of help give it a little facelift, unless you like the clear can look. Almost done. Now this again will dry clear. So you will just let this sit and it will dry clear. So there is that. And then what we're gonna do with this is again end of this year is coming so thinking of those teachers here's my other can this is dry this mod podge is already dry so i just made a little thing with some of these little clips and a post-it note holder and then of course you know you're just going to take maybe some pens and pencils and then you can you know give that to the teacher at the end of the year with maybe a gift card or or maybe the flowers but it's just something that you can make that they could use at school on their desk you know, um, to hold some of their supplies. Just a little thing to, to put together that I think looks pretty cute. 
So if you like that, send some hearts and some likes. I always love those. And again, comments are always appreciated. I always read them. And then in addition to that, please don't forget to answer the giveaway. <laughs> and then shares. Share this with anybody that you think needs, needs this tip or wants this tip. All right, now we're gonna talk about organizing with cans. So I'm gonna start with, while this is drying, I'm gonna move this over. And we're gonna talk about how summer's coming. And I just have this basket right here. Now decorate it or not, take some cans, put it in a basket. And then you can take your napkins and put them in a can, or this one has room for the middle like, you know, this, but I'll put them in a can for now. You can put your forks in a can, your silverware, your salt and pepper shakers will fit in there, you know, condiments, whatever. And then you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna take it outside for your barbecue. And then it's really easy, so you're not running in and out of your house a hundred times. You just use your cans to help hold your stuff. And again, you can mix and match, you know, more stuff could go in here that, um, depending upon how you, you mess with it. In addition to that, I'm going to talk about another one here. And this one, what I've done is I just have a dollar store tray. Just a dollar store tray. And then I took some cans and took this mesh. This It's stuck. <laughs> there we go. This mesh ribbon and put that around it. So just glue that into place. If you wanted to, you could use magnets or you could glue these down. So that's your choice. And then I'm going to set these on here like this. And again, you can pick it up and carry it. I'm going to borrow these ones. This one's wet, so I'm going to be cautious. Separate my pencils maybe. Depends on what you have at your desk. But now I have a little organizational system for my desk that separates my stuff. So again, pick it up and move it. Say I need to go work on something in another room or the kids need it for homework or whatnot. You have another little system that keeps you organized just made out of cans. And I have one more can organization system to show you. This is, you've seen this probably before, but these are two pie pins, two pie pans, and just the marbles. And then I'm gonna take this one and set it on top. It's gonna make a lazy Susan, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is take my cans and set them on here. I think I'm gonna borrow these cans as well. Decorate them however you want. And then we're gonna pretend that, you know, it's summertime and you've got the kids at home and they're all wanting to sit at the table and make some crafts together. And so you've got your crayons in one, and your scissors, and your markers. What things would you put? What would you put in your organization? What do you need in your organization area? Like what, what would be your things? What would be your go-to to put in these things? So we're sitting at the table and a kid needs this something and another one needs this. So this moves around so if you need to reach something or say you have a workstation with your peers at work, this is a great way just simply to put this around so you can rotate it without having to reach across or ask for something. Just center location, great for homework time, that kind of thing too. So again, three different organization type situations, one for outside or your desk or rotating for craft time. And it's the last chance to get in on the giveaway. So again, I hope you're liking this. If you do, please send me those hearts and likes so that I know you liked what you saw. And please share this because the more people that see it, the more people learn from each other. And I learn from you guys too. So I hope you've been answering my questions for me so that I can go back and learn something from all of you. So going back over the canned things that we've put together today, last chance on that giveaway. Don't forget to answer what you've made from cans. We made the candle holder, which I'm gonna be hesitant to move because now that is getting hot and waxy. We made the lantern for outside. We made this wind chime for outside, which is great for gardens and scaring those animals away that you don't want in your garden. We made a bird feeder. 
we made some ways to pot some plants. The silly one where you get to chia pet your hairdo. <laughs> the um, succulent plant and the starter. And then of course the Mother's Day or Teacher Appreciation gift or heck, just make it for yourself. And then lastly, we made these little organizational settings. So we have the one where you can take your basket with your cans and fill this up with as many cans as you need and use this to take your things in and outside um, for your, you know, eating outdoors. It's a little easier than running in and out a hundred times. You made your Lazy Susan craft station. Again, mix and match any of these, really. It's whatever appeals to you. And then we also made the desktop organizer as well. So just a few things out of cans. And you'll go through lots of cans probably in your house. Oh, and then don't forget to tell me what I should do with these crazy things because I gotta do something with them. All right, do we have a winner? Yes, it's Rose. Congratulations, Rose. And I'm so glad you guys were here with me today. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you, Home Talk, for having me. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, bye.